Alrighty, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. We had an amazing weekend this weekend. And uh, now we're back and ready to get back into Rebirth. We are, believe it or not, four days away from the end of Final Fantasy. So this is going to be a crazy, crazy week. Three days of Rebirth action. Little Thursday night stream. And then the end of Fantathon. We're going to have a big celebration. I got a bunch of announcements to give that day. We got some big events coming afterwards. It's going to be amazing. Crazy to think we're at the end. What are we gonna do without Fantathon? I'll tell you on Friday what we're <laughs> what we're gonna be doing without Fantathon. So I think we did pretty much everything we wanted to do here. Is the game quiet or is it just me? Or is it this area? Windows noise. I think it's just... It seems quiet. Why would it be quiet, though? It's at max volume. What sucks is I can't, like... No, I think it's alright. The song was just... The song was... Getting... Getting started. It was powering up. So, anyways, uh, I think we did everything we wanted to do here. There is like a side quest apparently over here, but yeah, I'm doing all that stuff later. The pursuit of perfection. Oh, a weapon. It does seem like these side quests are like stuff. You know what? Let's do this one. It's a weapon. Why not? Let's see. I want to get a grasp of how, uh, useful the side quests are, you know? Because we did, like, a few, and they were mostly just kind of, like, money in the first area. But it seems like the side quests have gotten better. Uh, I don't think I can do this yet, though. I gotta wait till I get out of Oh, my God. It's, it's not gonna let me leave yet. I am so, so bored, bored right out of my brain. If I don't die first, that y'all go insane. Cause I've got nothing else to do. I'm stuck here wasting time. But just wait. Oh, materia, I'll get back on the road and make you mine. <laughs> I am so, so bored. I'd love an encore, if that's cool. An encore? Normally I charge an orb per song, but... I'll make a special exception this time. Here goes. I am so, <laughs> so bored, bored right out of my brain. If I don't die first, betcha I'll go insane. Cause I've got nothing else to I think she's do. actually singing it again, too. I'm stuck, you're wasting time. Like they didn't just copy it. But just wait, oh material. Oh yeah, definitely. And make you mine. The attention to detail, man, it just continues to be insane. <laughs> what a way to start.
What a way to start. Also, yeah, think of the give the sub to carry. Thank you, thank you. Are you hearing this? It's coming from the reactor. We gotta check it out. Oh my god. It's time. It's time. You know what it's gonna be. You know what this is gonna be. This is not a drill. Ooh, the song. Not a weapon. Wait, do you know something about this? Okay, maybe it is a weapon. Say that. Yeah. You've been hearing it for a while. For a few days. But I hope now, it's not a weapon. The coalition tried to investigate, but some creatures kept us from getting into the reactor. So all they did was fly around. Just the sight of those weird black wisps was enough. More than enough. No, ain't that something? You could see them. Uh, yeah, of course. Why? Do you know what they are? <gasps> Whispers. <laughs> well, this just got more interesting. So, when do we leave? You young lady are on guard duty. No, oh, come on! I just want to help out. Part of the team. Yeah, because you've been a real team player. <laughs> Keep an eye on her for us. I'll do my best. Let's just get in, take a look, and get out. Figure you, me, Kate, and Red can do that easy. Agreed? Agreed. Let's go. You guys hold down the fort. No fair! No fair! Yeah, no fair. I wanted to take Yuffie. They're still forcing us to use certain party members, which is good. Uh, I do have to swap some stuff, though. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Man, it... Every go everywhere we go, it's another song that I'm excited to hear. <laughs> also, thank you, Seraphic, for the gifted sub. And Crash, thank you for the three months. I wish I could equip... Oh, let's do this. Touchpad when you're on the materia screen. You can get to this screen. It's useful, but also kind of annoying. You have to do each one individually. <laughs> Uh, 
that if we already have that. Yeah. What do you do for this? Use your HP to heal allies. Exploit an enemy's weakness. Can you select a character? Nope. Which you could in the original, funnily enough. <laughs> but no, you can't. Would be a cool addition if they did that. This is what I figured they would do with the reactor, because obviously in the original you just stop by and that's it. Now it's like the main event of Gungaga. What could possibly go wrong? Dude, I can't wait to get our chocobo and like jump around these mushrooms. As if weapons weren't enough, now the whispers are back. Come again? What's a whisper when it's at all? An arbiter of fate. They appear when destiny is about to be altered and ensure it maintains its intended course. I thought we already changed it, though. We did, once. But perhaps now they preside over a new fate. Ours. And that's what you get for being curious. Or maybe they should just go away. Oh. They're back! And it looks so much cooler. Keep it together. Hey, thanks, Frosty. And they even kept the name, I think. Weird hearing this song now. But it makes sense, because they think it's a weapon. Let's go. Good time. Still so fun to play. 
No time to waste. Yo, Rip. Thank you very much for the prime. Welcome, man. Really appreciate that. Be sure to check out the giveaway page because you are now entered in to win. Congrats. Easy work. So... I mean, am I allowed to just go do whatever I want now? Because, I mean, we're back on the open world, but it's also playing this song as if we're supposed to go right now. And I'm limited party. It doesn't make sense. How does Sisney know about the whispers? Only we should be able to see them. True. Could be a setup. You think? We'll see. I'm trying to remember if the Turks could see them in the original. Is there any scene? Is there any scene in remake where the Turks? Specifically, see the whispers. I feel like there are. There is. Yeah, at least Rufus. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, that's right. The whole church scene kind of pushes the fact that they can't see him. You're right, you're right. Oh my god! <laughs> At 13. Holy moly. I mean, I think that was partly Cloud, too, but. This combat encounter while we're here, but I don't know if it'll let me go that far off the path. Man, I love this area. It's so cool. The areas truly feel so different from one another. I mean, this is gonna be such a fun place to explore. It's actually gonna be difficult to find stuff. are actually useful. As I mentioned before, like, oh, I wish the owls actually took us to, like, areas that are pretty tough to find. Well, <laughs> now they are. Getting lost in a forest? Say it isn't so. Cloud, by analyzing the life spring data, I was able to locate an old Republic transmitter chip. It appears to be in the past leading to the reactor. The 
terrain you will need to traverse is littered with scrap metal and other such debris. Please watch your step. Time for me to find a blindfolded route through the jungle. Just to make fun of people. <laughs> Isn't that how speedrunners do it? As soon as someone says something is hard, a speedrunner does it blindfolded. Room wrong. Well, actually, I can do it blindfolded with one arm and without a controller. So you're just bad. Or just fake it. That'll make your point. Are we dead? Oh, so it looked like because of the the light. I thought this water was like Mako infused. And I was like, well, we're dead. We're gonna grow like an extra limb. By the time we're out of this. And look at that. <laughs> Let me order a pizza and a Coke. I got some plebs to own on the internet. Are we supposed to just swim all the way there? Rocket Town. It's kind of wild. You would think, like, even someone like me would immediately recognize everything, but honestly, it took me, like, two or three watches to actually figure out what everything was. It's just so different. I mean, it's just... I guess it's kind of hard to, like, take this thing that you've seen for 20 years and see a different version of it. I don't know. But it definitely did not... I definitely did not see that and, like, immediately go... Oh, Gungaga reactor. Yeah. Maybe even, like, Calm at first, I was like... Is this Calm? And Lower, lower Junon... Lower Junon, I thought, was... Uh, Coral, I think, at first. When I watched the trailer. I mean, they did such an excellent job making everything look like what you would imagine it to be, but still, I guess it's just... Having seen the same thing for so many years, it's hard to, like, retrain your brain into, like, this new look of it at first. But I picked up on all of it pretty quickly. Uh... Alright. <laughs> Taroni! Think about the 47. But yeah, I don't blame people for not figuring out what some of the stuff was right off the bat. Doesn't make them a fake fan or anything. Or else I too am a fake fan. Nature came back swinging. That's the Michael Rich land. What's good for life is great for reactors. See your way in. Whispers. No, not as we know them. Come on. 
know where we're going with this. Hey, how's it going, Rocky? There she is. We must be close by now. How much longer? We expect to arrive within the hour. <laughs> then I'd better choose a suitable toy. Will that be necessary, ma'am? Of course it will. Oh, there's her suit. I'll make sure that it is. <laughs> Love her evil laugh. Yeah, I'm curious where they go with this. Because... They know that the whispers were like... Had the song. The whispers were the thing that the most people complained about, so... And they had said in like interviews and stuff that like, Oh, we defeated the whispers, they're gone. So there's a reason they're bringing them back. A very good reason. Maybe it's just a... I mean, it kind of looks like it's just Sephiroth messing with us, but... We shall see. Yeah, I love how much... I mean, that's what I was saying when people were asking me, like, what do you want to see at the start of the game? Like, I was like, I want to see more Turks. They build them up really well. I want to see more. That's why I was really happy. Really happy with the scene in the Mithril Mine. They did that really well. I see a weapon. I was about to say, I feel like this is going to be a sword. Crystal sword. I actually don't have prime mode done yet. Because I don't really use it because it's kind of weird. This was a... There's nothing else in here. Oh my god! It's the eggs! The Grangolands! Are they gonna multiply? Oh, they are. <laughs> okay, maybe I underestimated Prime Mode. I may have underestimated Prime Mode. Uh, Prime Mode's a little wild. Kinda just killed everything. These Crystal Sword stats are nuts. Oh god. I just realized it has one materia slot. <laughs> okay, uh, well.
We're gonna need to we're gonna need to level this up fast. I'm not all about this one materia slot. Oh man, look at these stats though. Dang, dude, Crystal Sword is kind of nuts. But one Materia slot? Oof. Materia is just too good. There's so much Materia that does so many different things. Having one Materia slot is just not ideal. But I mean, I could totally see a build where you just buff up Cloud and he just spams Prime Mode with this weapon. And everything dies. Okay, do I need to stagger for this? Oh, just strike a staggered enemy. Well, unfortunately, I'm killing things too fast. Oh, yes, our favorite game. Design kind of looks like Ultimate Weapon. A little bit, yeah. Actually, a lot of it, honestly. Especially the wide bottom there. So, does it include just hitting the enemy? No, I think we gotta use Infinity's Edge. That's gonna be a problem. We're a little too strong. go down there, but I want to see what's over here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Kate Sith just standing there. Yeah, I like the dilapidated reactor area. It's cool. Oh, I didn't expect to be able to do that. Yeah, we might be growing a third arm, though. Sage 
Strange Armband. This looks like something that you wouldn't be able to climb up in another video game. It's an interesting design choice. Because at first glance, I was like, okay, how do I get up there? I didn't think I could just swim right up to it. Infinity's End. I feel like the windup was longer, but I could be wrong. I feel like he spun around like one extra time. Should just do exactly what they want us to do. That sounds like a good idea. Well, yeah, that's, I mean, that was the purpose in the original as well, but it seems slightly slower than the original. So I could be just making that up. Keep it together. Everybody keep it together. And those frogs just get blasted. Yeah, sorry, remake. <laughs> I mean, I figured... I figured everyone knew Infinity's End wasn't in the original and timing wouldn't really be a problem in the original because it's a turn-based RPG. Yay, chores. to raise the water level again. <laughs> I like how there was no splash. Ah, 
Uh, well, just for now, I've been using Cloud Yuffie Aerith. First, first time that a treasure chest has actually perplexed me. Most of the time it's been very easy to get anything. But I'm not sure how to get this treasure chest. Definitely seems like you just need to raise the water. Unless. Missing something, but I don't think I am. Slash hadn't whiffed, it would have just killed them all. Unless I can do this. Alright, I'm gonna go off on a limb and say that we can't get that yet. I could be wrong, but it seems like the case. Also, I want my materia back. Do I want Firebolt Blade or Umbral Blade? I'll stick with Umbral. So you know what? I'm go with Lightning. Yeah, I have AP up. I had AP up on Elemental, but I just swapped it. Does anybody have Alexander? This 
Sploosh. I don't know though, it doesn't make sense to raise the water level because then we wouldn't be able to get back through here. long enough for me to do anything. sure I missed that chest but like I have no idea how to get it guess we'll find out later and subversion weakness dying to death weakness butter in a pan Give it to me. I'm ready. I don't think this is going to give me what I want. Would you look at that? You seeing this? Since the plant went offline, the whole place has been filling up with Marco. Which means the planet ain't done. We were right to take out those reactors. I wouldn't go that far. Let's get to work. Too much Mako here. Oh, no. That's a Relnico! Shit! How did they... You told them, didn't you? What? It must be me! I swear! So, um, I love this continued narrative of Barrett like trying to uh, prove to himself that what he did was right. It's really interesting. Um, they keep going to this like Barrett continually is like, so we were right to destroy the reactors, like. So you can tell, like, he has a lot of self-doubt. And there was a little bit of Kate Sith fighting back there. Just a little bit. So I'm really interested to see where that goes. So like I said, I want to see those interactions. The originally human countless cellular transplants from various poisonous plants and fungi have altered their genetic composition, turning them into monsters, boasting impressive vitality. They will revive themselves up to two times after being defeated unless they are burning. Kinda wanna see that in action. I 
like the little zombie zombie look when they were doing that. Dang the song. Why couldn't we bring Aerith? Oh, I hit them both. That's kind of interesting. Even without the materia, you can hit two enemies with one spell if they're like holding hands. Another specimen. I love that giant head. This thing reminds me of uh, Helitic Pojo, but not exactly. He is immune to fire. He almost just killed Red 13. He's got this. Is this Resident Evil? Although this Mako chugging creature miraculously survived Professor Hojo's experiments, it has taken on a vile new appearance, nigh rec unrecognizable from its former self. Strengthens itself by ingesting Mako, then unleashes a powerful attack after a certain amount of time has passed, inflicting enough damage after Mako ingestion will both interrupt the subsequent attack and pressure. Against ice. Can be slowed and put to sleep. Just the Mako. Man, I really need a way to. Is that is that the move we're looking for? Oh, that's just that's just a big boom. with uh, Red 13. He has a hard time getting close. There we go. Now that's the move we want to see. But like... Is now when I need to like deal damage or what? Okay, I see the problem with Prime mode. Well, actually you can just attack to get close.
There we go. How's it going, Kalos? Dang, this dude. It takes forever to pressure. He just protected himself. so much damage. Oh god, he's got three right now. Oh. Okay, that did not work. <laughs> I tried to block it and he just said like, uh, no. Not today. Alright, he needs to... He needs to cut that out. I don't think that did too much. Oh god. He just poisoned himself, but is also berserk. song that song that fight that boss that everything that's incredible Well, as amusing as this has been, 